Hello everybody interested in Lost in Space B9 or robotics. I've been doing a lot of work on my full-size B9 since the last video I made. Um, mostly on the radar section and the sensor ears and the bubble lifter. Um, you, can, uh, you can see it up there. I've got a pretty detailed paint job on it, uh, which took some doing. And uh, that bubble lifter goes up and down. Uh, that's where the bubble will set up there with all the brains and stuff. Uh, those ears, I don't have the sensor dishes on yet. But I put some tape on there just so uh, we could see how they work. Um, and then the uh, the radar, the gray section with the, with the light and gray section will go back and forth. And that's all controlled by an Easy B robot control board uh, that's inside the collar there, that ribbed, that acrylic rib section. Um, there's his torso and we have it tethered together to the uh, main body right now because most of the or all of the switches actually work and interact with the torso and the uh, the main CSS. And we can even start up without us. Uh, that's the volume switch and back here you can see that's where the uh, power pack is going to sit that I haven't built yet, but I do have a plug plugged in there on the active switch, so I have an animation, uh, on-off animation that we'll show you in a little bit. Um, there sits inside a, uh, a Seiko um, high-powered uh, servo that's going to lift the bubble back and forth, and it'll also that mechanism will also allow it to twist back and forth. Uh, Let's go around the side here. Um, that's the main speaker where the main voice comes out. I've got two, two or three sound systems. That's uh, another. Um, it's kind of dark. I apologize. That, that is another speaker that will show the mechanical, or that'll you can hear the mechanical sounds from. Um, the, more of the uh, sound switch, right there. A B switch kind of sorts all the sounds out. Another shot of the bubble lifter chamber. That right there is a. Uh, transistor that turns the power on and off to that transistor. If without that, uh, I get a heck of a lurch and a jump. So I use my EZB control software to uh, turn the power on and off to that servo after I send a signal. That saved me a lot of problems with a jumping and lurching. Um, and there's more, there's amps there. One's for the mechanical sounds right there and the other is for the uh, main uh, sound system and it all ties into a CF3 system that I have mounted down there. Uh, you can see it right there. Hard to see right here. And uh, that's some relays I have there for the animation on off that I was telling you about and, and a homemade um, 5 volt power converter and some more fuses. Uh, well down here is uh, the lower section which is hard to see. But anyway, main power is turned on right here on the switch on the back. And the CF sound system goes into action. The startup sequence. Which is kind of long. It's just a recording. Everything's working really. It's kind of cool. Lights uh, for dancing. Loading primary computer systems. Please stand by. Main computer boot sequence completed. It's coming out of that All uh, are speaker. Now um, we're ready to uh, start up the Easy Builder software that's on my laptop, and once it's uh, connected. It uh, will uh, hook up to the EZB board up in the crown and another board down in the leg section and start those two up automatically through Bluetooth. And you'll see an animation series with a head, uh, headgear that I have uh, so you can see how that all works. Anyway, here goes. There's the software starting up. And it's going to connect pretty fast. Keep your eyes on. Oh, there we go, the head's moving. Bubble lifter. And you hope you saw the uh, ears spinning. Okay, um, I have uh, voice recognition. 
Pay attention, my good friend. Now, um, I have an animation series with the head and some lights in the chest that uh, he'll... he'll uh, Will Robinson is not present, and my sensors detect no danger. There you go. He started up by himself. You <laughs> gotta be careful with what I say. Sometimes he misunderstands what I say. What he should have did was uh, respond to this. Will Robinson is not present, and my sensors detect no danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Will Robinson is not present, and my sensors detect no danger. Be quiet, you ninny. Okay, fine. Now he shouldn't react to anything I say or do. Which is kind of important to uh, have that feature, because you saw what happened. Danger, Will Robinson. Pay attention, my good friend. Pay attention, my good friend. Active. Danger, Will Robinson. Will Robinson is not present, and my sensors detect no danger. Be quiet, Ninny. Okay, fine. Okay, well... Also, I have a uh, series with the uh, the power pack pull. We'll see. I'm going to pull this here, and he should dump over and do a thing with his head. That's he's, everything's dead. Everything's quiet. You can see. I'm going to put the plug back in. Okay, pretty easy. Now I'll take you around. You can. S I'm going to turn on the lights so you can see the chamber, the lifter chamber. Okay. Pay attention, my good friend. Now watch. Danger, Will Robinson. Okay. Danger, Will Robinson. Will Robinson is not present, and my sensors detect no danger. Be quiet, Nenny. Okay, fine. All right. So, um, turn off those lights so we don't blind you. One more thing. Pay attention, my good friend. Pay attention, my good friend. Robot, do you know where you are? I am in the Milky Way galaxy on the planet Earth. Okay, we'll leave you with a joke. Robot, tell me a joke. Why did a robot cross the road? Because he was carbon bonded to the chicken. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay, oh, one more thing. Watch his chest lights. Danger, Will Robinson. Okay, that's another feature I got built into. I can program different light patterns. Uh, okay, we hear you. Be quiet, Ninny. Okay, fine. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.